So please tell us what's going on here. What's going on in the image? So, well, yes. So this is a classical image. And um, when I, I will start from the surface and then uh, we are going to take a journey to the center of the earth. It's, it will be a new journey to the center of the earth. Uh, talking about things that Jules Verne didn't know when, when he wrote his novel, which was some sometime in the mid mid 19th century when the book was published, the, the journey to the center of the earth. So we start from the earth's uh, surface and you can see a very thin skin um, that um, is basically the earth's crust. So we know now that the earth's crust is approximately about 35 kilometers thick, uh, but the thickness varies. Um, it's the continental crust is much thicker than the oceanic crust, for example. Um, and we also know that the, that the crust in, as a general rule of thumb is thicker um, beneath the mountains and mountain chains and it's thinner um, in the oceanic areas, for example. Um, and then uh, penetrating through um, the Earth's crust, we enter the vast, the vastness of the Earth's mantle. This is where the most volume of the Earth really lies. Um, and the mantle is still silicate. Uh, it's mostly silicate. Um, um, almost like like um, like the crust, but basically the mantle is uh, sub, um, is convecting slowly on the geological time of scale uh, time scale. So what that means is that um, it basically behaves like um, hot liquid in the in the pot that you you heat, but it's happening very slowly on the. On the, mil on the scale of millions and, and hundreds of millions of years. Um, and then uh, this image um, then shows the transition from the mantle, which is shown in red, to the yellow uh, liquid uh, core. Um, and again, the reason why we know it's liquid um, is that first of all, uh, seismological observations in the early uh, 20th century um, sort of proved that. Um, but we also know it because uh, the, in that liquid outer core, the magnetic field of the Earth is really generated and it's maintained there. And we have evidence of the magnetic field on the Earth's surface. We can measure it. Um, and uh, Geophysics has, has gone a long way to, to actually show how that geomagnetic field is generated. And I mentioned it earlier that basically in this image, if you go a little bit deeper, you can see the innermost part here, which is the solid inner core. And uh, when this, uh, you can imagine sometime in the Earth history, as the Earth cools down, the liquid uh, outer core uh, becomes solid and it ha it's happening from the inside uh, towards outside, right? So it's as the inner core is growing, it crystallizes uh, out of the liquid um, outer core. And the most, thing, most important thing I didn't mention is that, that the core is made of iron uh, and nickel. Um, so it's an alloy of iron and nickel uh, with some other lighter elements um, that are still being um, discussed and, and debated. Uh, so when the solid inner core uh, solidifies, that, uh, that generates a lot of um, heat uh, and these light elements are released into the volume of the liquid outer core. And that sort of gives, gives rise uh, along with the rotation of the earth to the geomagnetic field. Um, I would just add here that, you know, talking about the inner core, um, the most recent discoveries showed that the inner core actually hides in other uh, smaller core, uh, which we refer to the innermost inner core. So in that sense, this image is incorrect, right? So the textbooks will have to be changed to also include the innermost um, inner core. So it's almost like 
if you know about babushkas, right? So babushkas are these uh, um, array of dolls that are getting smaller and smaller. And as you open one, you find another one inside. And this is how our um, progress in geophysics actually worked, right? So we kind of peel these outer shells, try to understand them first. Uh, and if we understand them well, then we can predict the propagation of the waves through them. And we can kind of then uh, penetrate into a deeper and deeper layers of the earth and start revealing them. Um, and you mentioned earlier that my image looks uh, nice or interesting. It's actually an image from my book. Uh, and this reminds me that the title of my book is The Inner Core Revealed by Observational Seismology. So because you like languages, you will appreciate this uh, reveal uh, word because this is really what we're doing. We're trying to reveal the dark secrets of the Earth's interior. And this is what really makes uh, this topic so fascinating because we are still in the discovery stage. So we're not, um, we are not in the mapping stage um, that we are near the Earth's surface. Uh, when it comes to the deep interior, we're definitely still in the discovery stage. 